Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. So at this time, as part of uh, developing applications using uh, uh, Spark APIs, um, we'll be seeing how to extract the required fields from orders and order items. We are trying to build or we are trying to get average revenue on daily basis from orders and uh, order items table. Already we have read uh, data from both the tables and now we want to extract uh, the necessary fields from orders and order items. As we have seen earlier, orders have four columns, order ID, order date, um, customer ID and uh, state. Already we have used state and we filtered for completed orders. And uh, to get the revenue um, on daily basis, we need the date. And also we need order ID because we have to join uh, with order items. Hence, we have to apply some transformation to extract only order ID and order date. Here, you can see you can see the code snippet. Uh, we are trying to use a function called map and uh, uh, and uh, here you can see um, uh, we are using again the lambda function or anonymous function the parameter name is rec and then in the circular braces we are trying to define some logic what is this logic all about so again we are using the split function rec is nothing but a uh, string uh, if you go here and if you see data type of orders completed by just typing orders completed hit enter you can see it is uh, of type uh, rdd uh, of strings so rdd is nothing but a, uh, a distributed collection uh, and uh, here in this case the rdd have elements of type string okay and uh, uh, then um, the data is comma separated we have previewed uh, several times in the past and uh, uh, by applying the split function using comma all the four elements will become part of array and the um, then you can subscript uh, either with 0 1 2 3 to get whatever field you want in this case we are trying to get order id that's why we have uh, uh, given subscription of 0 because order ID is the first element in orders and then order ID is of type integer so we have to typecast to integer so that uh, while joining uh, joining integers is far more efficient than uh, joining it as string so even though the join will work whether it is string or integer it's better to convert the to integer so that join performance will be better and then we need order date which is of type string uh, so uh, and uh, order date is the first uh, second element in the array after applying the split logic okay so this logic will actually get uh, order id and order date from orders completed so we can actually preview the orders completed orders completed dot take take is the action so while looking into transformations itself wherever it is required i will emphasize on actions dot for each println and hit enter you can see the data um, we are only getting the completed orders because orders completed is um, is rdd which have only completed orders we already seen the logic of reading the data and uh, filtering by applying filter transformation for the completed orders. Now we are trying to use map function to get uh, to get uh, order ID and uh, um, order date from orders completed. And also order items have six fields. First, uh, first one is order item order ID, which is the unique or uh, primary key. And the second one is order item. So first one is order item ID, which is unique key. Uh, which represents um, uh, each and every order item uniquely and the second field is the order item order id which is nothing but a foreign key to orders table we have already um, um, understood the data model orders is the parent table and order items is the child table 
there is one to many relationship between orders and order items and the field which drives that uh, one to many relationship with orders is order item already which is nothing but second field and then we need the order item subtotal uh, which is the fifth field so again here also on order items we are applying the same map transformation and we are applying the same split logic uh, using comma as the delimiter but the second field is the one which we are interested in uh, uh, to get order ready so that we can join with orders later and then we need fifth column which is nothing but rec, rec dot split uh, of four and here we are casting to float because the value is float if we have to do any um, any operations such as adding those numbers uh, to get the revenue later we have to convert it into float otherwise it will not work that's why we are typecasting by using the to float function so here is the code snippet uh, i should have named it as order items instead of orders so now i have modified and uh, let me first execute this code snippet let us uh, test it before adding it to the code okay now you can review orders dot take off 10 for each println and hit enter you can see that the value the output of this uh, uh, math function is nothing but a tuple and the first field is order id and the second field is order date in the tuple you can see that it is represented in um, uh, circular brackets uh, so uh, uh, for most of the downstream operations especially by key operations we have to create the data in the form of these tuples then only we will be uh, performing we will be able to performing the by key operations and uh, the first element will be considered as key for the downstream operations such as uh, reduce by key aggregate by key etc which we will see later and the second element or rest of the elements will be treated as value okay similarly we will copy paste the other code snippet also which is here in this case we are trying to directly work on uh, order items rdd which is read earlier to get order id and the okay it's not there so let me define it let me copy paste this one So now you can see that order items map is uh, uh, generating RDD of type integer and float. Orders is uh, uh, orders is generated of type integer and string. Okay. Now uh, we will see how the data look like in the order items map. Take off hundred for each println again as we have seen for orders order items also generate order id and um, the order item subtotal okay so this is how you can use the map function to transform data um, from uh, one format to other format in this case the map function will be invoked for each record so if you have 20,000 records the map function will be invoked 20,000 times if you have 100,000 records, the map function will be invoked 100 times. When it comes to orders, uh, first we need to check the count of orders completed. You can see it has 22,899. And then we have to check the number of records in orders, which, we, which is nothing but uh, 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 output of the math function to get the order id and order date for each of the record and if you apply count on that it it returns the same thing if it when it comes to filter typically the number of records will be lesser than the original number of records because 
the records which does not satisfy the conditions will be discarded and also the transformation logic which is applied uh, in the filter will not be applied on the actual records whereas in map function uh, the transformations will be applied and the uh, number of output records will be exactly same as the input records okay so similarly if you uh, look into order items rdd count 172198 records order items map dot count have written 172198 records whereas order items map is nothing but uh, uh, rdd of uh, simple strings which are nothing but order items records whereas order items map uh, after applying the map transformation is nothing but a tuple with only order id and order item subtotal that to type casted to integer and float and rest of the four columns are discarded so if uh, to the bottom line is if you have to apply simple transformations on each and every record you have to use the map function and the output will be some transformed record uh, based upon your transformation logic you have implemented okay so that being said now let us copy these two lines of code into our program format it and then save it okay so so far we we are going in an order we have read the data um, into rdd for orders and order items we have filtered the data by using filter transformation for completed orders and now we have actually applied the map transformation on orders and order items map to get order id order date from orders and order id and order item subtotal from order items and now uh, we will see what needs to be done uh, as part of the uh, further videos that being said i hope you are enjoying the content if you like this video or if you want to provide the feedback or uh, rating please do so especially when it comes to rating please give me the uh, full rating unless you think otherwise if you think otherwise please raise the issue i will try to address that issue and uh, 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 or i will try to provide the justification and based upon my feedback or my response you can give the rating which you think i deserve that being said thank you bye